Hello Geeks and Gamers, Matt Lemke here with your Gamer Goggles, Gamer-Goggles.com and today we're going to talk about the Advanced Bestiary and this is a monster template uh, from Green, and, Green Ronin Publications. Uh, it's Pathfinder role-playing compatible. As you can see the art and stuff then is going to be obviously geared towards Pathfinder because they, they did follow the licensing uh, information that Pathfinder sets up. So you're going to see certain, certain types of style within the book. Uh, the most important part of the book, believe it or not, is right here. It's the introduction. It tells you exactly what's going to happen. tells you how to do things, uh, you know, and how to use the different templates. Uh, and then basically the book just flips through, and it's just that. You overlay templates into the book or onto your characters, onto your monsters. Uh, it, it really appears that this is a tool that would be very, very good for beefing up bad guys or maybe even NPCs that are uh, important to your storyline. Like, uh, you know, you can do, here you go, here's a sample angelic vessel. You can put a template of an angelic vessel over a player character or what have you. There are a few uh, things that are rather unique in the book. Um, that really kind of stood out to me. Well, one, you know, you, you've got what you would expect. The paper stock's good quality. Uh, it's full color printing. And did I go for? I passed it already. Uh, the augmented creature is one that uh, really kind of stands out because it's probably a more complicated template. Um, because it ha there, there's just a lot that goes on with it. You, uh, if, if you can make this template, you can pretty make much make anything. And basically, an augmented template can kind of turn anything into a robot type creature. So, like here, you have uh, a good picture of. Well, I'm not sure how big he is, but I'm going to call him a gargoyle for now. And he's got all these different like pieces of stony rock or iron on him that have augmented, and he can shoot them off his body. Um, and it was a gargoyle, because on the next page it, it gives you a sample augmented gargoyle uh, as, as the breakdown. And then one of the uh, you know one of the other cool cool items in the uh, items templates in the book. It well. There's the Damon Host, um, but that's not the one that I was going to go to. The Demon Possessed. There is just so much cool stuff that you can do with this template in your story. Uh, you, you can possess a player character. You can let them know they're possessed. And they can play a certain way for a while. And then you can possess another character with the same, you know, just roll it over. Uh, there's a lot. They actually did a, uh, they did Nick Nub. They created Nick Nub, who I think is actually really cool. He's clearly a goblin, uh, but he ends up with a CR7 and an AC20. And uh, he's got all these different, let's see, Nick Nub. He, they used the male Quasit. The male Quasit possessed a goblin warrior who was 8th level from the Pathfinder, Pathfinder uh, game beast year. So, you could do lots of cool things with it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> how cool would it be, you know? You can have a, a CR bonus of, like, as high as plus four to to your character. So you guys are going down the street, and then the next thing you know, uh, they stumble across a goblin or even a kobold that is possessed um, and leveled. So... <laughs> You know, oh, it's just a kobold, and you're a group of 8th level players, and all of a sudden, somebody just about gets wiped off the map because they messed with something that's possessed. Uh, and then the other thing, let's see here, there is... I skipped over another one. The amalgams are really kind of cool in the book. Uh, oops. Because... As soon as I get there, amalgams. They're just absolutely insane. Uh, I mean, you can see right off the bat that creating an amalgam is an acquired or inherited template 
that combines two creatures. Uh, so you're immediately using more than one template to create this. Um, for example, what they created was a uh, Draconix of Dawn, and basically they took a phoenix and combined a dragon. Uh, and they created really cool art for it. Um, the other, the last template that I want to talk about in the book is the War Machine template before we move to the uh, appendixes, or the appendix I. Uh, war Machines. That would be back here, because this is alphabetical. Now, the War Machine template is uh, worth mentioning and talking about because... I just like the idea of being able to create war machines. Uh, you can basically take a war machine and add it to any living creature. So they took a sample war machine as uh, an egg keg and they, they added the war machine template to it. Uh, which, you know, it has uh, special abilities. It has... See the War Machine template, it has Body of Blades, Metal Body, and it spits Acid, which is its regular uh, NKG ability, plus it has Sprint, and it, be it can become a War Mount. So, uh, <laughs> that's actually a really cool concept, right? Ride around, <laughs> I'd take that up against the, the Driders. Uh, <laughs> um, and then, they introduced some new feats, which uh, are important to note, uh, like they have additional augmentation, they have Eye Caster, which the prerequisites for it are Eye King template levels uh, in Arcane or Divine Spellcasting. Uh, the benefit is, one of an Eye King's eyes, Eye Rays, no longer casts spell-like abilities, but it's a conduit for which it casts its class spells instead. Uh, so they, they spent some time uh, modifying some things and creating some uh, good stuff with it for us to use, and they added uh, new class features, which I wasn't expecting in this book. Um, and then they, of course, have an appendix of all the universal monster abilities. Uh, these are all important things that you have in the appendix. I mean, obviously some of these you already kind of know about because they include gaze, they include, they, they include everything you need for the book to work effectively. Um, and then... The last appendix is templates by CR adjustment, which could be very important for you as a GM. We'll take a, we'll just take a look at it real quick, um, and then they have uh, sample creatures by CR is the next appendix, and then they have an index, which I am always a fan of indexes. And I'm glad that they put that in the book. Uh, so, you know, this is a, a little. This was a little bit tougher for me to do as a flip through. Because it's a template book, um, I see a lot of potential for this, and I find I found some inspiration for me as a GM. By far and large, I think it's a, a great tool for GMs. Um, if you're working on your own campaign, or let's say you want to spruce up some NPCs or PC or uh, some some major bad guys a little bit, because you're you're running into things that are a little bit tougher. And that makes it uh, all the better for me because I am a fan of doing things like, okay, so the high elf that you're fighting is really demon-possessed, uh, which adds all kinds of cool things to the high elf. Or the high elf, um, or maybe the paladin NPC that's been helping you guys out from time to time is possessed by some angel, uh, which at times would come in very handy. So, what do I think of the advanced piece here? I think it's a great tool, like I mentioned, for GMs. Uh, players can use it, but they're not going to use it nearly the same way that a GM is. Uh, with that said, it's not necessarily a book for everyone. It's certainly a book that I'm going to find a use for uh, as I start uh, telling more stories. And uh, even if I just need to get some ideas for, like, well, here's the, speaking of the drider, here's the drider. Uh, you can create a variant drider. So, there's not much more to it. Templates, you slap them on, you, you do a little bit of work. Some of them are complicated. Um, some of them give you a lot of freedom to pretty much end up with whatever you want. 
So thanks for watching. This has been a flip through with Matt Lemke from Through Gamer Goggles on the Advanced Bestiary, Beast, Bestiary, um, which is your monster template compendium, and it is a compendium at 400 pages. Uh, check out our Kickstarter that's coming soon for season five. Uh, leave some comments. Subscribe to us, please. We're going to start doing a lot more role-playing stuff in the future. Um, and, well, you know, see you guys at the cons. If you're uh, going to be up in the Akron, Ohio area around the 16th of October, join us out at Con on the Cobb. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.